so Joe Biden is, uh, according to CNN, he is considering filing uh, for an injunction, uh, you know, uh, uh, file a lawsuit to stop the Iowa Democratic Party from releasing any results later this afternoon. Uh, this is supposed to happen about four o'clock today. Uh, now, this is a total scam. Uh, his candidacy is mortally wounded. He's a house of cards. It's, it's a polling fallacy. And he's Jeb Bush 2020, and he's not going to be the nominee. Um, his job was to was to get those old white rural voters that that they lost to Trump in 2016 to bring them back. Those six to 12 million people, depending on which survey and analysis you read, that live in these rural places in Iowa and Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin that voted for Obama once, maybe even twice, and then turned around and voted for Trump to bring them back into the fold. That was his job. And he wasn't able to convince them even here in Iowa to come out for him. And that's the number one reason why the, the turnout was lower than they had hoped. Which brings me to who really ought to be filing a lawsuit here today. If your name is Andrew Yang, if your name is Tulsi Gabbard, if your name is Cory Booker, if they kept you off a debate stage because of these phony baloney polls that had Joe Biden cruising to victory all these months, including here in Iowa, and then the first time we take a damn vote and he finishes fifth, those are the people that ought to be filing some lawsuits because y'all got screwed. Y'all got screwed because they used those same polls that told us Joe Biden was Thanos inevitable. They used those same polls to keep you all off the stage and irrelevant. That's who ought to be filing some lawsuits. Yang and Gabbard in particular, because even when they got on the stage, they wanted to act as if they weren't there. So that's who has, to me, some leg legitimate grounds for some lawsuits. Because this entire process that was utilized to determine who got on the stage, with whom, and how often, was the same polling mechanisms and devices that told us Joe Biden was inevitable. Not only was he not inevitable, he's Jeb Bush 2020. He's toast. Mortally wounded. Undead. Waiting for someone to drive a stake through it or just call it. Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang's people ought to be filing some lawsuits here today. They got shafted.